Political parties in Northern Ireland have been closely watching events unfold in London and predictably enough, opinions on how things now stand vary. The DUP and Sinn Féin respectively looking for policy continuation or policy change. Boris Johnson's interactions with Ireland have been wholly negative. Under his leadership, we've seen an attack on the Good Friday Agreement. Whoever succeeds Boris Johnson now as Prime Minister needs to change direction and change tack. Well, obviously, it is for the Conservative Party to elect their new leader. And I think the sooner that happens, the better for stability here at Westminster and indeed for the United Kingdom as a whole. Uh, but we are clear the government needs to continue in its commitment uh, to deal with the issues and the problems created by the protocol. For the Ulster Unionists, Doug Beattie says Boris Johnson was a disaster. He says Northern Ireland now needs a plan. So no matter what happens from this moment on, what we do need to make sure is that here in Northern Ireland there is a plan, a plan to get the executive up and running again so that we can start to provide services for the people here uh, in Northern Ireland. The Alliance Party also welcomed Boris Johnson's departure but worry his political initiatives for Northern Ireland remain live. There are major issues out there around the protocol and the legacy bill. Sadly, nothing's going to happen in the short run to stop those continuing their way through Parliament. But hopefully a new Prime Minister will have some change of heart in terms of those two controversial pieces of legislation. As the Northern parties continue to assess the impact of today's events in London, they are also preparing to deal with a new Northern Ireland Secretary of State. He is Shalesh Vara, appointed today to replace Brandon Lewis. Mr Vara previously served as a junior minister in the Northern Ireland office, but quit after five months in protest over Theresa May's handling of Brexit. Joe McGrailey, RTE News, Stormont.